What's up guys, it's Covil here and welcome to test day. So I'll be testing Yuhime R2 to see if she is worth it or not at all, right? But first I'm gonna make her R1 uh, unless there's like a damage buff on the skill, right? So let me basically lay my case. So this is my problem with the R2 is that I don't know if it adds any value at all. Why? Because there's this line of text here that says Death's Gate. Which is her second skill. Has a wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 maybe this test is for nothing. Hold up, okay. That gate is her second skill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. <clears throat> it says this Death Gate has a hundred percent chance of dealing extra damage at the cost of one health hand stack. Extra damage fifteen percent attack. Now, here's my problem. My problem is that that skill already has the defect it says when having health hand deal extra damage at the cost of one health hand stack extra damage 15 percent so what does what does r2 do right there's one or two ways it could one be taking two health hands and dealing 15 plus 15 extra damage right so you have two different procs or two the 15 automatically gets added to the 30 and then it takes one health hand instead of two right it takes one health hand and deals 30 percent damage right so it either takes two health hands or one health hand to deal 30 30 percent damage so this is what I want to see, but I'll get the first rezo because I mean if there's any <laughs> There's like damage buff to the third skill. So I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but we will go check with At R1 right at R1. How does the damage look like and I'll be using the VR battlegrounds. Well, okay <laughs> That's moving around in circles VR battlegrounds have happened you're gonna straight up use your R2 after we gain some stacks, right? So the reason we do third skill first is for us to gain some stacks. <laughs> so I'm gonna use double pushes. And then I use S3. And we gain two stacks. Then I can push her. Use S2. And then use S2. And then we should deplete by one stack, right? And then deal damage. 11k.19 okay and we depleted by one stack let's move on and see if we get the same it doesn't matter the amount of stacks we have right because you always deplete one stack to use our attack okay push push so yeah, we'll see if if it still works the same. So we gain stacks. Now we have four stacks, right? But it shouldn't in it shouldn't like <laughs> change anything with the damage. So let's look at the damage they deal. Okay. So it was similar damage. So that's with R1. We are to her and see if there's any change. Let's take one good look at the skill description for Lost. And then we're gonna see if the skill description changes if we are to her. So let's do that. Right now, she is Resonance 2. <laughs> so yeah, so that's in effect, but we don't actually know what we just did. And that's part of my problem with the Rezo 2, right? Is that I don't understand what we just added. So we'll click on the skill description and we'll see it's it just adds it. It just adds an additional line. So it says after that line, it says 100% chance of further increasing at the cost of one health hand stack damage increase 15 percent so the moment <laughs> you do that you get a proper description right this is crazy oh my god dude another case of just like poor information relaying right look at this this says nothing about further increasing right 
This says new effect has a 100% chance of dealing extra damage at the cost of one health hand, one health hand stack. Damage 15%. Here, in her new ability, after you do that, this is where the proper English comes in. It says, and a 100% chance of further increasing. Why isn't the further increasing before you do R2, right? Because now we, this makes absolute sense. I don't even need to test <laughs> afterwards, right? It's, it says of further increasing damage at the cost of one health hand stack. Increased damage by 15%. So it increases the extra damage, basically. That's what happens. <laughs> Cr crazy. I know, I know, crazy. So yeah, we got that, but let's just go test one more time. So we're expecting to consume two health hand stacks to deal um 30%. Yeah, 30%. Because it says damage increase. If it was a multiplier. It's not 15% of the 15%. If that's what you guys are <clears throat> asking. It's not 15% of the 15%. It is a flat 30% increase. Let's go. One more time. One more time. Push. Push. S3. S2. S3. Pull it back up. S2. Okay. So let's slow it down to one times. We look at the inferno guy and we do that. Four point five oh five, right? That is the damage that she deals. So it's a flat thirty percent increase in damage, and you saw we lost two hell hands stacks. So this is another case of being bad at descriptions, guys. That's what this thing does. It changes the damage from 15% to 30%. Okay, guys, post editing Covian here. Um, if you looked at the damage numbers, someone might be enticed to be like, wait, Covian, you liar. That's not a 30% increase or like an additional 15% increase, but it is. So let's just look at the math. Uh, at R1, she does 37110. And if you see the clip for the R1, uh, the inferno asper this is the damage to the inferno asper why i chose the inferno asper is because it is a neutral like neutral affinity so there's no damage boost or crit rate boost or like damage decrease chance to miss it was just better for testing right and <laughs> and uh lo and behold at r1 which is before the additional of the um r2 mechanic it does 3710 right and then out two she does four five zero five now if you look at the damage multiplier between that it becomes a 1.2428 blah 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 right this is basically a 21.42 damage increase and not a 15 percent damage increase uh why is that uh it's basically because of the defense break so her damage increase actually calculates after she her second skill does a defense break I mean, it's kind of intuitive, but then some people don't see it that way. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> so, let me explain. A, the, a defense break using GG Easy's calculator, <laughs> you know, thank God, uh, is about a 1.49 damage scale. It's not exactly a 50% decrease because of the, um, looking at GG Easy's equation, like defense is, it's uh, manipulated somehow, right? It's not like a number over defense. It's a number over defense plus a small as another small number so that changes from a 1.5 damage scalar to a 1.49 damage scalar so what do i mean here so if you look at the damage difference between 4.9 and 3.7 if you look at the damage difference there it's 795 and we know 795 is 21.42 of the of the damage like of of the damage increase basically right and then if you take 15 and multiply it by 1.49 you'll get the exact damage increase so the 15 it is 15 percent additional but it's 15 percent additional plus its effect after defense break so the second skill will do an attack defense break and the two extra damaging skills will take effect uh recognizing that the target has been 
defense broken so um yeah accuracy is kind of still useful on her because yeah if you are going to go for the extra damage type of build there um <laughs> yeah the defense break is gonna count into multiplying the 30 percent def uh, the 30 percent damage increase in total that's basically what it does is r2 worth it oh hell no it's just small damage buff who cares <laughs> if you're cleaving you're probably never gonna use the skill anyway like fuck, get the hell out of here like if you're cleaving with her you're probably using this one and you're probably never using this one if you're using the s2 you're probably going infinite with her skill so if you look at the difference play video he has a clip whereby he's going infinite with this lady <laughs> so i think if you're going infinite 50% damage really doesn't matter in the long run because you're going infinite. So is R2 worth it? Fuck no. R6? Definitely. That is that is an effect that she needs. But I don't understand why it's, it's not 100%. Because it's like it's 75% chance of not consuming while dealing extra damage. So if it was 100% like others, she would be able to spam S2, S1 and S2. And she would keep her health hand at max stacks, which is six all the time. Now it's a chance, the 25% chance, you reduce it to a 25% chance to get, you know, like completely lose your health hand, which means you won't be able to go infinite with um the skill that I mentioned if it's play made a video about. So yeah. Question marks, but answered is just poor English. The English gets fixed the moment you do the R2. This has been Kovian. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.